Welcome to this short video in which we will discuss the process of paragraph writing. عملية كتاب المقطع أو الباراجراف الفقرة في اللغة الإنجليزية. So first of all, we need to define what is meant by a paragraph. Simply speaking, a paragraph is a group of sentences that is written about a single topic, or it is a collection of related sentences dealing with one topic. في كتابة الفقرة الفقرة هو عبارة عن مجموعة من الجمل التي تتناول a single topic or one topic موضوع واحد فقط هذا كل كلش مهم في كتابة الفقرة This is very important idea that you need to adhere to the single topic that you are talking about Now we will discuss how could you develop a, a group of sentences in one single paragraph to talk about one topic. There are mainly three parts of a paragraph. عادةً هنالك ثلاث أجزاء للفقرة أو الباراجراف. The paragraphs have three parts. First one is called topic sentence. Second one is called supporting details أو supporting sentences and closing sentences where sometimes we call it concluding sentences. طبعا عندنا topic sentence كلمة أو العفو جملة الأساسية والتفاصيل الداعمة أو الجمل الداعمة. إحنا عندنا two types عندنا supporting ideas and supporting sentences. وراح نشوف now in in the slides we are uh, going to show what is the difference between supporting ideas and supporting details. So, generally speaking, what is a topic sentence? Topic sentence is the, is the sentence that expresses the main idea of a paragraph, which is usually the first sentence of a paragraph. احنا لما نبدي نكتب عادة, topic sentence هي a sentence that carries the main idea of the paragraph. It also contains the central idea. And um, the most general sentence in a paragraph. عادةً هي تكون الجملة العامة في الباراجراف. Example of a topic sentence: There are three reasons why Canada is one of the the best countries of the world. There are three reasons why Canada is one of the best countries of the world. This is a topic sentence. And in this topic sentence, we have what is called the main idea of the paragraph. It is the first sentence of a paragraph. It, can, it contains the central idea of the paragraph. What is the central idea here? There are three reasons why Canada is one of the best countries of the world. The main idea or central idea here is that Canada is one of the best countries of the world. هذه هو ال central idea of the paragraph. What is a supporting sentence? The supporting sentence is usually the, it is written to develop, explain, support the main idea of the paragraph. When we talk about why Canada is one of the best countries of the world, then we need to develop, explain, and support that idea. ذلك الجمل الداعمة أو الجملة الداعمة عادة تكون sentences a group of sentences هي تطور توضح تدعم الفكرة الأساسية للفقرة أو الباراجراف examples of supporting sentences عندنا لهذه الجملة اللي هي topic sentence there are three reasons why Canada is one of the best countries of the world عندنا الجمل الداعمة لهذا الباراجراف. First, Canada has an excellent healthcare system. Second, Canada has a high standard of education. Finally, Canada cities are clean and efficiently managed. هذه الثلاث جمل or two sentences. هذه إحنا نسميها we call it supporting sentences. ليش هي جمل داعمة? Because it develops, explain, and also supports the main idea of the paragraph. Supporting details عندنا فرق دائما الطلاب they overlap the, the concept of supporting sentences and supporting details 
overlap uh, uh, in their in their uh, understanding of these the difference between the two. Adatan تخلط على الطلاب الفرق بين supporting sentences and supporting details. The supporting details contains facts, examples, and details. Explains why the main idea is true. هذه كلش مهمة حتى تميز بين supporting idea و أو supporting details و supporting idea. Supporting idea تجي بالبداية اللي هي تدعم the main idea of the paragraph. لكن supporting details تأتي comes second after the supporting sentences. وهي بالأساس توضح أو تعطي حقائق examples أو details أو also explains why the main idea is true. Okay. Examples of supporting details. All Canadians have access to medical services at a reasonable price. طبعا هنا in this sentence, in fact, it carries, this sentence is a supporting detail because it gives details about Canadians. هسه راح نشوفها بالparagraph ككل راح تبين واضحة عندكم. What is a concluding sentence? Oh, closing sentence, as then we call it sometimes. The concluding sentence is usually the last sentence of the paragraph, exit topic sentence. Topic sentence comes first, while the concluding sentence comes at the end. Restates the main idea. Then he نفس الفكرة, the same idea, told, narrated in the topic sentence. It is restated in the concluding sentence. Is used to finish the paragraph. Or to prepare the reader for the following paragraph. هذا طبعا ميزات الكتابة academic writing أو creative writing الراقية أنه لما نختم جملة بالفقرة تكون هي to finish the paragraph and also to prepare the reader for the following paragraph. نختم الجملة ب sorry نختم ال paragraph بجملة تهيئ القارئ إلى الباراجراف التالي إذا إحنا دين نكتب أشياء لكن إحنا نادي نتكلم عن باراجراف only examples of concluding sentences as a result Canada is a desirable place to live for those reasons Canada attracts a lot of immigrants wouldn't you like to live there or Canada is a great model for other countries to follow هذه these are three Different examples of a concluding sentence of a paragraph. الآن the paragraph on Canada, the same جمعتها بها topic sentence, supporting sentence, supporting details, and so on. هشرح لكم إياها بطريقة مبسطة, simplified way. طيب, the topic sentence is there are three reasons why Canada is one of the best countries in the world. Are the topic sentence. Show us the topic sentence. General, what? Also, it gives a central idea. In the whole, Canada is one of the best countries in the world. Hadi, and it comes at the beginning. And خلال هذه ثلاث أشياء إحنا we can tell that this is a topic sentence. Comes first, gives a central idea, okay, and it is uh, it talks about. Uh, a one main idea of the program. But first, Canada has an excellent healthcare system. How do you jumla supporting sentence? Jumla daim. What it develops, if you remember in a previous slide, look here. Supporting sentence, what develops? Explains, supports the main idea of the paragraph. Then now it what develops the main idea of the paragraph. First, Canada has an excellent health system. عادة عند the topic sentence اللي بعده هو the supporting sentence. الجملة الدائمة تحت the supporting sentence يجينا the supporting details. تفاصيل اللي هي إما تطي facts, تطي numbers. It gives. Explains why something is true. Okay. شوف هنا حتى ندعم هذه supporting sentence نحتاج إلى supporting detail sentence. 
Canada has an excellent health care system. Canada بيها نظام صحي ممتاز. شلون؟ راح ندعمها بجملة supporting details. نطي تفاصيل. All Canadians have access to medical services at a reasonable price. هذه طينا تفصيل للجملة الدائمة. Second. أنا خليتها باللون الجرين حتى توضح لك أنه هذه supporting sentence. Second, Canada has a high standard of education. High supporting sentence. لا أشرح ليش كندا هي أفضل البلاد في العالم. One of the best countries in the world. فلذلك أنا نطيت جملة داعمة مباشرة تفاصيل داعمة. تفاصيل. حكيت أنه ليش كندا has an excellent care system because can all Canadians have access to medical services at a reasonable price. Second, Canada has a high standard of education. تعليمها. Supporting sentence. أريس تفصيل. Supporting details. تفصيل هاي الجملة الداعمة. أريد. What? جملة تفصيلية. Students are taught by well-trained teachers and are encouraged to continue studying at university. هذه دعمة الفكرة. ليش كندا تحتوي على what standard high standard of education لأنه معظم الطلاب يدرسون من قبل well trained teachers and also what encouraged to continue studying at universities الجملة الداعمة النهائية هنا finally هذا supporting sentence أقصد بهذه الرموز هذه topic sentence supporting sentence supporting details تلاحظوا شلون The topic sentence. بعدين supporting sentence. جملة داعمة لل topic sentence. بعدين supporting details. جملة تفاصيل تدعم supporting sentence. وهكذا. هكذا يكون الترتيب. ما ممكن أنت تقول first, second, third. وبعدين تبدي تنطي تفصيل supporting details. جملة تفاصيل للجمل الداعمة. لا خلي ترتيب. topic sentence. Supporting. دائما خلي في بالك أنا راح أعطيكم واجب هسه أعطيكم paragraph short paragraph وأريدكم I want you to identify the type of sentences in that paragraph طيب خلينا نكمل هنا finally Canada's cities are clean and efficiently managed هذه supporting sentence جملة دائمة ليش كندا هي من أفضل البلدان في العالم زين حتى أعطي تفصيل هاي الجملة إنه مدنهم نظيفة وتدار بشكل كفور قلت Canadian cities have many parks and lots of space for people to live بتلاحظ شون هذه الجملة الداعمة هذه الجملة التفصيلية للجملة الداعمة قلت أنه Canada cities are clean and efficiently managed and um, I, I've given also uh, supporting details I've said, you know, Canadian cities have many parks and lots of space for people to live. As a result, are the concluding sentence? This is a concluding sentence. As a result, Canada is a desirable place to live. Lihi restate of the topic sentence. This is a perfect, a perfect way to write a paragraph. This is the best way to write a paragraph. Okay. Well, analyze it on. Which of the following examples cannot be used as a topic sentence and why? شوف هذه الجمل الثلاثة ليش? I want you to write in the comment why which one of these three sentences cannot be made as a topic sentence and why? طبعا topic sentence خاصة أصلا comes first general sentence and contains or explains the central idea okay? Central idea. فكرة الأساسية. Well, read these three sentences and tell me in the in the in the comment below why one of them is not. I'm giving you a I'm giving you a hint of the answer. One of them is not or cannot be used as a topic sentence. Okay, tell me why. Well, check the structure of this paragraph. I want you to identify which of these sentences are the topic sentence, supporting details, supporting sentences, and the concluding sentence. Through the centuries, rats have managed to survive all our efforts to destroy them. 
We have poisoned them and trapped them. It's funny because it's about rats. If you know rats, these small animals. Okay. Um, why, why? We have, okay. And, and read the paragraph. Read the paragraph and tell me. topic sentence. Through the centuries, rats have managed to survive all our efforts to destroy them. Hadi, Gulliahi be home supporting sentence, we are supporting details, okay? In spite of all our efforts, these enemies of ours continue to prove that they are the most indestructible of pests. Hadi Taban concluding sentence, okay? Can you identify the topic sentence? Supporting sentence and concluding sentence. Well, a concluding sentence comes at the end, restates the topic sentence, while the topic sentence comes first, uh, gives a central idea, and it's a general idea. Okay, this is the answer. This is the answer. I want you to identify which of these sentences ma'ada except the topic sentence and the concluding sentence are the supporting sentences and supporting details اللي ما يعرف الفرق بين الجملة الداعمة والتفصيل الداعم راح أقول للجملة الداعمة تأتي بعد the topic sentence والتفصيل الداعم supporting details يأتي بعد الجملة الداعمة حتى يوضحها مثل ما قلت هنا Canada has an excellent healthcare system. Shlon, here be here. Excellent. Lazim Adida Wallah develops or explain. Gilit, all Canadians have access to medical services at a reasonable price. Wallah, Jumla Daime, what Tafsil Daim? Then Jumla Daime here will be Daye, what Tafsil Daimi Jibad? The Duhun. The mom? Okay. When writing a paragraph, remember, Lazim Khalifi Balak. Check content, structure, and form. Muhtawa wa tarkib wa shikl bin the paragraph. The content is related to when you want to check about the content, you need to develop only one idea. Remember, I know here fikra wahid fakat bil paragraph. Misi tachili an hachana an Canada, limada Canada abwal balat al alam. Misi tachili lesh Canada. Uh, 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 it has many water resources. I'm, I'm talking about why Canada is one of the best countries in the world. Be coherent. This makes your paragraph easy to understand. Focus on the main idea. We need, you need to focus on the, the main idea. Elaborate and develop your topic sentence. I topic sentence that has supporting sentences. It, it also requires what? Supporting detailed sentences. This means that the topics should be explained in detail. Add explanations. How the supporting details. The explanations, details, and examples to the supporting sentences. This is the most Supporting sentences here to describe any topic sentence. But in how the supporting sentences, it has to be a complete sentence. It has explanation, details, and examples. In this well structure, you need to make sure that your paragraph has what? One topic sentence, as many supporting sentences as you need, supporting details for the supporting sentences, and a concluding sentence. In this way, according to the form, make sure the paragraph has a five-space indention. And indention means paragraph. There are no lines or blank spaces in between sentences. And that you write clear and simple sentences. simple sentences. Subject, verb, complement. Check your spelling and grammar. Bad Okay, this is all about the structure of paragraph. If you have any question, please paste it in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.